Hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk about uh, what I promised you in the last video, which was about your doorbell. A lot of times when we're losing our hearing, we also lose the capacity to hear the doorbell, and people get worried about us, and people complain about it, that they went to the door, and blah, blah, blah. And then you have to hear this sermon over and over again about the doorbell issue. So <laughs> there's a couple of ways of uh, doing that. One, and fixing the situation. One is to ask them to call you or to text you or email you before you come. Uh, now, that has pros and cons because sometimes people don't look at their phones, so it, it doesn't work either. So um, there's another way we can solve this. Uh, I have no connection, I want to clarify to this company, uh, but we're going to talk about their phones because they have helped me a lot. So, and especially in buildings that have hardcore, you know, heavy duty walls, uh, it's, it's been helpful, it's gone through walls and fire doors and everything else, so it's a champion. So we're going to talk today about the Serene Alarm Clock. Uh, you've heard me mention this company before. Uh, I have no connection to them, and they're not paying me for this commercial, so I have no interest. Uh, so anyway, this is the Serene Alarm Clock, and that's all it can be if that's what you want. So, but you'll see that it does various different things. It will alert you to the door. It will alert you to a baby monitor. It will alert you to phones if you need that. Um, it will alert you to any alarms in your home uh, and any break-in. So, so it really is a, a champion of alarm systems. Now, uh, you'll see the little door there and you can pair this with several different uh, monitors. I have a couple. I have the doorbell, which you need to pair, and, and pairing is, is really simple. And I'll leave a video down below so you can take a look at the video. Uh, but here's the doorbell. I have it, you see this tab in the back. Uh, this tab, I put it right out my door. I'm an assisted living, so I don't want people just walking in because they know that sometimes the knocking, I don't hear it. So uh, this little, uh, I have two of them because this, this after a while, it, it might start failing. So um, I think the clock on this one doesn't work anymore. Um, it's, it's, it's quite old, so, <laughs> so not a problem. Uh, so, because I don't need the clock, really. So you would pair these two things and um, put this doorbell outside your, your door. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what happens when the doorbell is pressed. So here we go. So it's gonna let you know that someone is at the door. Um, this has options. It, it, you can connect uh, a vibrator you can uh, have sound attached to it. You can have all of them all at once. So uh, that's really important for you to know there's several options for the signaler. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Now you'll say, well, at least I have a couple of different rooms, so what do I do about that? I lived in a very large building uh, prior to coming here. This building is very large too, but I haven't had the need to, to put in more signalers. But um, this little jabby you see here, you can attach more of these and pair it with the, with the clock. And you can put it in your kitchen, your bathroom, in the living room, wherever you need to. And these will also light up when the doorbell rings. So then you can have these in more than one room and it'll talk to the clock. So when someone pushes that doorbell, these will also go off. So um, that is one way to tackle the doorbell. And it can tackle other things. Like here, I just use it for, for my room uh, so that people don't have to pound on my door. I'm deaf, I use cochlear implants, so 
um, when I take them off, you know, I don't hear a thing. So, so that is one way you can tackle your issues with the doorbell that everybody oh, is worried about. So this is from Serene, and um, it is called the Serene Central Alert. And I will post that with, uh, I will post a link for that and some videos, perhaps, if I find them all, uh, and uh, consider it. You know, uh, these you have to purchase. You can get them at a pretty good price on Amazon. Amazon is not paying me for any of these commercials. So um, I should sign up for the affiliate program, I suppose, <laughs> by now. So you have the clock, you have the doorbell, you have the little smaller flashers, and I use uh, one for alarms. So if the fire alarm goes off, then my clock goes off and it vibrates. So um, if I'm asleep, if I'm dead asleep, and the fire alarm goes off, then um, the vibrator will go off, and then I'll know that I need to move my little tushy out of here. So, <laughs> so it really resolves and tackles a couple of different issues. And if you're really nervous and have anxiety about these different things, uh, I did too. You know, when I was losing my hearing, and then I did cochlear implants, and then, you know, when I was... Uh, at night, uh, sleeping, you know, I figured, how am I going to solve this? You know, if the fire alarm goes off, then what? So the Serene Central Alert really assisted me in uh, resolving all these issues that I was worried about. So they do run on batteries, and I will, uh, again, leave all the links down below in the description box so you can take a look at it. And I just purchased things little by little, like each month I would purchase another part that I needed. And you can gradually add up uh, and, and make connections to, to the alarm clock, and it'll take care of it for you uh, once it's paired. And pairing is simple. You know, I wasn't, back in the day, I was not very tech savvy. Uh, but of course, as my hearing loss got worse, I had to learn a lot of different things about tech stuff. <laughs> so... Um, and and now I teach others. So so do consider it. There are other companies and there are other um, alarm clocks uh, that uh, solve the same same issue. So Serene is not the only one. So you can do some uh, research uh, and you can uh, put in or type in uh, signalers for the deaf or signalers for the hearing impaired and uh, several different models will come up. So you have to look at their instructions. In my previous building, my walls were, were very well made, uh, and especially the doors or fire doors, so it was a very heavy duty uh, building. And um, one of the models I had, just the signal just wouldn't go through the walls, but Serene did. So that was excellent. I think the, um, the distance, in which the clock can continue to talk to the other signalers is, I think it's 200 feet. Uh, so that's, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so check it out. And if you have any questions about it, please feel free to post it down below. You might have it already, um, or you have a different model that's not working for you. Uh, you can try this one out. So Serene Central Alert, and I'll put the link down below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am glad you found me. Um, my channel is all about hearing loss and hearing loss tools, technology. Uh, so feel free to drop by, see what else I've posted. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please post them. Uh, make comments. That kind of helps you know, other people as well. It tells me what questions people have that you know need to be answered. So all that helps me know what videos I should be posting. If you liked the video and it was helpful for you, uh, feel free to smash that like button. So that tells me, okay, I'm going in the right direction. I'm posting uh, information that is usable to you. Um, and it also helps spread it around more on the YouTube world and uh, reach other people who might be in need. Uh, let me see what else. Subscribing is free. 
uh, all that will happen if you subscribe to my channel so that you will be alerted when I post a new video. So, uh, and then you can just follow along on the new, on the new topics if, if that topic is needed for you. All right, so I'm glad again uh, that you found me and a welcome to you, whatever country you're from, and I hope you come back again.